Hello, dear friends. I have been so encouraged as I have seen so many of you respond so well uh, to this crisis. I have seen you trusting God uh, for this, and I have seen you love others and love others well uh, during this. Um, Jesus says that he is the light of the world, and I believe you're demonstrating what that means to this world as you trust God and as you love others. So thank you for that. Uh, if you're a guest and tuning into this, thank you for doing so. I want you to know that we're praying for you as well. And while we don't know you by name, uh, we are praying for the community around us, that we will be protected, that you will be protected, and that God will be close to you. So know that you are in our prayers as well. Our psalm for today is Psalm 51. And this is a psalm for tr the troubled conscience. So if you have a troubled conscience today, this psalm is good news for you. And we can think of it this way. It's a song for sinners. Psalm 51, verses 1 through 12. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow." Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. As Christians, we get uh, an understanding of God's forgiveness of our past sins. But I think sometimes we need help with our current sins. So perhaps right now during this crisis, uh, you've been struggling with uh, anxiety and fear. And yet you know the Bible tells you to not be fearful and to not be anxious and to not be anxious in anything. So now not only are you struggling with fear and anxiety, you could be struggling with condemnation about your fear and anxiety. For some, maybe you're struggling with anger, um, that this is affecting you in ways that it's not affected others. And why, why is it affecting you and not someone else? Why can't you be spared? For some, maybe you're just struggling with unbelief. Is God really good? And all these struggles function in your heart to create a troubled conscience. And now the God that you feel uh, the need to be most close to feels more distant from you because of these sins. So what do we do with sins in troubled times and when we have a troubled conscience? Well, hear God's word. Well, we cry out first to God, have mercy. Have mercy on me. In verse 1, David writes, have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. David had committed serious sins, and yet this is where he went. He didn't try to make up for his sins, to excuse his sins, to defend his sins, uh, to deny his sins, or to pay for his sins. He went to God. So where do we go when we have a troubled conscience? Folks, we don't clean ourselves up, we don't make ourselves better, and we don't pay for our sins. We go to the God of mercy, and we ask him for mercy and forgiveness, which he is glad to give us because of Jesus Christ. Christ paid for our sins so we don't have to. So what we do is we cry out to a merciful God to have mercy on us. What else do we then look to do? We, we don't just need the forgiveness of sins. We want to be cleansed 
from our sins. So we turn to God in verse 1 for mercy, but then we also turn to God and we ask him to wash us and to cleanse us. And we see this throughout the beginning of Psalm 51. In verse 2, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And again, in verse 7, purge me with the hyssop, hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. And in verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. We can't atone for our sin and earn forgiveness, and we also can't cleanse ourselves. God cleanses us. So, are you struggling with fear and anxiety? Are you struggling with anger? Maybe this time of family closeness has been a tempting time. Maybe you've been short or lost patience or become angry with a spouse or your children, frustrated at home. Where do we go? To the God of mercy who forgives and the God who then cleanses our heart and makes us whiter than snow. We ask him to wash us. We don't wash ourselves. And then what, what else do we do? We, we go to God for, for mercy. We go to God for cleansing. And we also go to God to be restored. To see our joy restored. Look at verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Friends, if you're struggling with sin during this crisis, go to this God where sinners have gone for generations, thousands of years across all cultures, regardless of whatever sin, they go to the God of mercy and ask him for mercy. And he forgives sins, he cleanses us from sins, and he restores our joy. Let's pray. God, thank you that you're our help, not only in the crisis, but in who we are in the crisis. Lord, some of us, Lord, you are helping us and, and we are trusting. Lord, for some, we're struggling. And Lord, we can even feel condemned by our struggle. Lord, we don't want to excuse anxiety and fear and anger and unbelief. And Lord, we don't want to deny those things exist. And Lord, we don't want to clean ourselves up and pay for our own sins. So we turn to you even in these times. Lord, not only do we need help with the crisis, we need help with how we process in the crisis. So please help us. Thank you that you'll do all these things. You'll have mercy, you'll cleanse, and you'll restore. We thank you for that. You are a great and good God. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Uh, this day, I want to invite you to tune in tomorrow. It'll be the last of our Psalms for this week. Uh, and if you're a guest, join us for our live stream Sunday meeting on, on Sunday at 10 a.m as we live stream our service to, the, to you, to our church community, our church family, and also to our broader community. God bless you. Have a great day.